Hi, this is Dan with Userspice.com, and I am about to do the very first install ever of version 4.0 of Userspice. Um, so I'm going to walk you through that process. You're going to come over here to your FTP program or whatever. Somehow you need to get the files of Userspice onto your server. I think the fastest way to do it is to copy the zip file over there as just a full zip file and then use a file manager to unzip it. If you don't have that ability, you can just copy all the individual files over there. It'll take a little bit longer, um, but no problem. So anyway, we're copying the file over. Just take a second. Our server is getting slammed right now because we've got a beta out there for user spice, and so it's getting a lot of downloads. There's a lot of traffic right now. Um, Okay, so the file is uploaded, so I'm going to go over to my file manager and hit refresh, and I can see that it's there, so I'm going to extract it all. If I hit refresh, I should be able to see all those files. So now what I did is I just copied that over to userspice.com forward slash demo. This is going to be the live demo that you'll visit, so userspice.com forward slash demo it's going to automatically redirect me to the install process. As you can see on my system, on a HostGator system, everything looks good. The thing that you're most likely going to have a problem with is right here um, where it says is, is php or is init.php writable. Um, I have some instructions that I'm going to make even better ones. If you come over to userspice.com, there'll be a link in there. You can go to walkthroughs and installation issues or an actual link will pop up in the installer and you can come through here and see you know what happens what kind of issues you could have how you fix them and, and all that kind of stuff so um, anyway if you have that issue you'll get a link right in the installer that will take you to this page which is pretty sweet so anyway in my case everything is good so I'm gonna check the license and just make sure that everything is good there well that needs to probably have some formatting going on but anyway there's the license and we're gonna hit continue now when I hit continue I'm going to set the path and this is a little tricky on most live servers you're going to do something like this so I'm installing it in userspice.com forward slash demo so I'm going to put a slash the word demo and slash and I'm going to do it again here um, if you have any issues you'll know right away when you're done and yeah, it'll show you an error message will pop up over here when you clean up the installation and it's usually pretty obvious there'll be something that will have either an extra slash or we missing a slash but anyway so we're gonna hit save and we're gonna go over to the database connections and I'm gonna be blurring this out but I'm gonna pop in my database settings It's a live demo, so you have no idea what's going to happen, but we're going to give it a shot. So when you hit test settings, it's automatically going to import all the tables into your database if your connection is successful. So you can hit save. Then I'm going to use the default recapture keys. It wouldn't be recommended to use that in an important live setting, but we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'm going to put copyright user spice like that. We're going to test the settings if my keys are right. A recapture will pop up here since it did. I can go ahead and hit save my settings. Now, what's going to happen here if you had a problem writing to your init file or something like that, you could get some errors when you hit this cleanup button. If so, there'll be directions on the screen that'll just show you how to um, clean up all your files manually. You can also, if you have any problems, if something didn't look right, you can hit reset and start over and you'll be taken right back to the beginning. But we're going to hit clean install files everything is deleted no errors there's some explanation of what to do if you got a bunch of errors and we're gonna check out user spice and bam we are there at the home page you can log in with the default is admin and password I might have typed that wrong nope got it okay so I logged in anyway I will show you a little bit more in the next video